Okay, uh, and rice. This uh, the rice I saw. Yeah, basmati. Is it basmati? You want, you want to make for that? I bring it down. Hmm? You want to make yeah. it? Nice panorama. Mm -hmm. This is what happens when. Oh. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ruth Kim. If it's your first time here, and today, as you can see from the title, I'm going to share my Afro Shop grocery shopping. How do I call it? Afro Shop haul. So this is the outcome of living in a village because I was living in Hamburg for the last eight years. And I never visited this Afro shop. And now that I moved like one hour away from Hamburg, I had to drive to Hamburg to go to the Afro shop to pick up some things. I was surprised because that was my first time there. I think when you stay somewhere, you ignore a lot. And so yesterday we had a family photo shoot. And after the shoot, we decided to drive all the way to Hamburg to grab some stuff. We just wanted Doma. Doma is arrow roots and some green bananas matoke original from uganda so before i talk too much i'm going to show you guys what we got from the afro shop stay tuned so there's this uh tilda pure original basmati rice I've not tried it before, but it has been recommended by a few friends of mine. And it was going for 16 euros 50 cents. Woo, it's 5 kilos. And this one is good because it's going to take us for a while. And it's a bit expensive if you compare it to the basimati we buy in the supermarkets because the basimati from the supermarket is like 2 euros per kg. And that means for 5 kgs, we put like 10. 10 euros and this one was going was well, 16 euros 50 cent i hope it's worth it and i hope it tastes good so i had to change the position because of the lighting i also got some plantain three green ones and four plantain which are almost ripe like this one all the plantains here, like the four, five, six, seven, the seven pieces were going for four euros. I got some avocados. Now, after getting the avocados, my husband was like, Hey, how can you buy such big avocados? And you know, they are sweet. Yeah, you know, this type of avocados, they are normally sweet. But I was so excited to see South African stuff and I grabbed them. Today I'm receiving some guests. Maybe I'm going to give them one each and then I, I'll be left with two. <laughs> yes, so that they can taste the sweetness. Yeah? And because they're coming too from the city to the village, they'll have something to take back home with them. They were going for nine euros, the three of them. It's a bit expensive compared to the super, the small, tiny avocados like this one but if you compare this one is from the german shop this one is has and it goes for one euro 45 cent and this one was going for three euros i don't know if it's fair or it's not fair just let me know in the comment section below so uh there oh i forgot to mention the avocados the avocados i always say avocados i don't know why but the avocados are from uganda the bananas are from ghana and this cassava do me a favor please get out of here get out of here man right here is also from ghana yes it was going for three euros it's a it's a normal size it's big enough and i like it from Ghana yes so the reason why I was actually going to the afro shop was to get these green bananas matoke these ones are from Uganda and Uganda is actually well known for their green bananas so I'm super super excited I'll try and buy some mat matumbo matumbo is I don't know how matumbo is called in English but it's like the inter intestines of a cow, the black ones. 
So the matokes, I got like this, this much, and there was an extra piece like this one I gifted my friend yesterday. They were going for 20 euros, like these ones, and an extra one like this one, going for 20 euros. Also a bit pricey. If you compare the price uh, with the way we buy or we know the matokes in Africa, but if you think of it, they have transported or they have imported the matokes all the way here. And they have to pay rent and they have to pay. It's actually worth it. I don't think it's expensive. And I've said the reason I was doing it to get the matoke. And arrowroots. Domas. Actually, I've never seen such a big arrowroot. I've been brought up eating domas every day. But I've never seen such a big one. This one is also from Uganda. Eh? Uganda. Uh, Ugandan people. Uh, yes. I got... Three of them, like this one, for 16, 16, 50, 16 euros 50 cents. Three of them, this big. I'm sure I'm going to cook this one. I'm going to boil this one first. And I, I think we are going to eat it like, it's going to be enough for us for one time breakfast. Yes, but one thing I'm asking myself is how I'm going to preserve these things to make them last longer. I've not really researched yet how to preserve them, but I'll be doing so today. Because the matokes, I can't cook them at once. But I saw a video on Facebook once where they were putting the bananas in the water to keep them green. I'm not sure, but I'll dig that. I'll research and then I'll let you guys know. So like, like I said, I got three domas. I'm also going to gift one today to a friend who is coming to visit. So there is another bag right here. You know my husband hates it when I open with like the scissors when they, I destroy the paper. But sometimes it's just you can't get it to open. So I'm going to do that. So guys, in this paper it's going to have different things that they were also interesting from the Afro shop. As you can see, I got some expressions. This one with double two colors was going for three euro fifty cents, and the one with only one color was going for three euros. As you can see, my hair is done. I'm lucky because I found someone in this village who can be able to do my hair. I was super super happy. And as you can see, come here. As you can see as well, Eliana's hair has been done, so we are lucky. And it was very, very affordable. We paid like 70 euros, the, the, the two of us. And I've been doing Eliana's hair for the last three years. She's three. I've been doing her hair. But ever since I gave birth to my second daughter, it's not easy. It's not easy. So I'm happy if I can find someone who can be helping me out. And I know every once in a while I can be taking her to the salon and getting the hair fixed. This baby knows how to get me. She knows I'm making a video and now she wants to eat avocado. Before she was here to get gummy uh, bear, now she wants to get avocado. Anyways, let's give her. Mama, I make video for YouTube. For my YouTube channel. So like I said, or like I was saying, the two colored one, 300 and, uh, 3 euros and And the one colored one was going for 3 euros. And we have someone, we are lucky in this village, we found someone who can be fixing our hair. Yes, and actually for the baby sitting and all that, I'm also sorted. I'm super, super happy. I didn't know I was going to get in the system so fast, but I'm happy. At least I took a call to my parara. You know, when the hair is fixed, someone always looks good. I also went ahead and bought a relaxer. This one was going for 7 euros. And as you know, oh, by now, my hair is relaxed and it's actually due. When, when the lady was doing my hair, she told me that my hair is due. It needs to be relaxed. So I'm also sorted out for that one. This one is another bay. You know, my daughter, Eliana, she has very, very, very dry skin. And when I use Vaseline on her skin, I'm always sorted. It, it works on her skin or the cow's cow milk fat. 
Aremis ya huku pia. It works on her. But this one, but it was a bit pricey. 6 euros. 600 Kenya shillings. I don't know why. But it also smells good. So maybe that's why. So I got these ones for Eliana's hair. They were going for 1, one euro 50 cent each. So I got two of them. And I got some bladders. Also two euros. And this one is, I don't know about this one, but this one is a porridge flour. In Kenya, we call it Uji. I've never tried this one from the Afro shop, but you know, as you know by now, I'm breastfeeding. And they say in Africa, if you drink a lot of porridge and eat healthy, then you're going to get enough milk. Was also going for six euros. That's it, guys. This is the only stuff that I got from the Afro shop. And I think it's worth it. It's worth that. So the everything here was going for like uh, we paid like a hundred euros and something. It was also much so expensive because it's not something that you're doing every other day. It's something that you're doing once in a while. And it feels home. So thank you so much guys for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me know what you guys think. And let me know if you're in Germany or if you're in diaspora, let me know if where you live you also get such good goodies. And if you have a fruit shop from Kenya, by the way, I would like to know why why don't we have a fruit shop like Kenyan Afro shop? The only thing I forgot to buy was by the way was the samosa bags. I wanted to buy them, but I forgot. Anyways, I'm receiving some guests in like 30 minutes and I've not even showered. I've not even cooked, but I'm going to fix ugali, some grilled meat and skooma so it's something which is not going to take me a lot of time but thank you so much peace i'll see you guys on my by the way i forgot to, i forget every time to tell you guys to subscribe so subscribe it's free subscribe